Today, we are going to convert this five gallon cooler into a five gallon mash tun, and we're going to do that without any drilling. Some basic equipment you can get at the local hardware store. I will also post links to everything that I found and how I got it in the description of this video if you want to find it. This cooler was only $25 or less than $25 actually, so it's a great deal for this. So the first thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and take a look at the, our equipment that we'll be using and then we'll get started. Here we have a half inch ball valve. Now we have a half inch close nipple there and that means that the thread goes all the way through the nipple there. Then we have a hose barb. This is a half inch on this side and this is a three eighths inch on the other for the hose barb. This is a half inch coupling that we'll use to get everything together on the inside. Here we have an O-ring to keep sure everything is water tight. And then we've got a wrench and this is our tube filter. This is a bazooka filter if you ever want to look that up online. Bazooka filter for homebrew and then we've got some needle nose pliers which I already used just to fold that bazooka filter down there. Let's go ahead and get everything together. So there you have some very basic equipment like I said. So first things first let's take the lid off of the cooler here and then if you need to you can use a wrench to loosen up the nut which is on the inside of the cooler here and then you can just take off the nut and then this spout just pops right out here and then what you are left with on the inside here is basically just an O-ring with a plastic piece and a nut. And I'm going to be able to use this as my lock nut. Now, if you can't use yours as a lock nut, then go ahead and that will be another piece of equipment that you might need to get from the hardware store. So the basic setup here is you've got your close nipple, you've got your ball valve, you've got your hose barb. It's really simple, but I'm going to be able to use this piece of equipment that comes with the keg, so basic, or not the keg, the cooler. So it comes off of the inside, and then I'm just going to put it on the front here to seal everything up in the front. So I'm just going to put that right over the close nipple here. And then this is going to go inside of the cooler, and then we can put a O-ring on the inside, and then we can lock it in place, and then we can put our this is the bazooka filter on the inside. Now let's talk about this bazooka filter, okay? This is to keep any of the barley or whatever grains you're brewing with coming and clogging up the ball valve there. So this is called a bazooka filter. This is a six inch one. They come in 12 inch or, well, 12 inches, six inches, what I've seen. So look up bazooka filter homebrew and this should pop up. I'll put a link in the description of the video as well. This is a half inch thread here and that's how they usually come. So that's why we have this coupling so that you can put this and your bazooka filter on. So this would go on the inside of your mash tun and we're going to do that now. So let's go ahead and screw this on the inside here of the mash tun. Well before I forget of course you want to put that o-ring on the inside here to cover up and create that tight seal there. So this is going over the nipple and then the bazooka filter is going on the inside there. And then from here, basically I'm grabbing the bazooka filter on the inside and the ball valve on the outside and I'm just gonna twist opposite directions to get it nice and tight. And then Ah, voila, there we go. We've got it upright. And that is as simple as it gets. So now we have a mash tun, no drilling, okay? So I'll fill this up, test it with water. If there's any leaks, boom, tighten everything up and go for it again. Again, the big thing that you wanna think about is if you are getting any leaks, you might need a washer and a lock nut on the inside to make sure that everything's getting compressed a little bit more to keep everything nice and tight from leaking. So there you have it. Now all I need to do is get some grains and get to brewing. So uh, hopefully you can put this together. Again, this was really simple, pretty cheap. And then I know that they do sell some nifty things like this that I'll put in the description of the video as well. They're basically the replacement parts for those big kettles that are already put together like this. And they're really cheap and it comes with everything like pre-assembled. And so I'll put a link to that because that might be something that you'd be interested in using instead of getting all of the pieces independently. So again, my name is Drew Smith. Check out the website homebrewtutorials.com and happy brewing.